Hello guys, you welcome back to today class. Also welcome back to today uh, mathematics class for this upcoming positive me class. So guys, uh, we shall be looking at these two questions. Okay, we have two questions to solve in this video. So, so let's dive into the solution of these two questions to get prepared for this upcoming uh, positive me exam. So I already solved this question. Majority of you, this uh, question are very simple. Okay, then when I check to it, I think this question is also being uh, from jump past question so it's not the same jump past question i picked this one from uh that is a uni ben past question i picked this one from the uni lag past question so let's dive into the solution of it so the question that should be simplified five base power of s multiplied by 25 is power of s minus one divided by 125 is power of s plus one so we want to simplify this now this is pure innocence right so I do that. The first thing to consider here, you know, in this place is five. You have base here as five, and the base here is twenty-five. So it means that what uh, this five is common to both sides. If you look at this place, five is common to both sides there. So in this place, it's five is power of s. You know, now this twenty-five is said as a we can express this twenty-five as five base power of two. So if you expand start up from we have five base power of two, we give us what this twenty-five. Okay, we got twenty-five, and the same thing occurs here. Five base power of three. We give it 125 so therefore we have 5 base power of 3 we give us 125 so now let's replace 5 base power of 3 in this place and 5 base power of 2 in this way so let's make it what they have the same base so the question should be this question becomes we have a 5 that is 5 base power of s okay multiplied by that is 5 base power of 4, 2 open bracket because it's 3 base power of s minus 1 so let's say that it's our open, let me kind of bring in brackets. We have our S minus 1. So the division here, let's make it a division like this. Let me bring it by like this. So we have our 5 base power of 3. We give us 125. So they be equal to that is 5 base power of 3. So let's try to put in bracket because it's base power of, what? of S plus 1. So what? They all are the same base now. This is 5, this is 5, this is 5. But let's for the first open the bracket here. Let's for the first open the bracket here. So if you still remember, whenever I say expression like this, okay, uh, this law is called a power was index, okay, in power index according to the law of indices, this is called the power index because it first of all was the power the one power and also with all that word power. So let's do it. Let's open the bracket. Whenever I see an expression like this, mathematics. So we have a five base power of s multiplied by it. that is five. These two we multiply the uh these two s and one that is two times s that give us what as two words s okay two times minus one we give us minus one two divided by okay the same thing here three times s will give us okay we have five is power three or three s three times one it give us plus one three so now since they have the same base you know here things to note here here we have a multiplication here and here we have a division here this multiplication here it changed to plus okay why the division here change to what minus okay let's pick one this one has base as five base as five base as five so let's pick one base so when you pick one base we have five the first index here is s so five is part of s okay okay the second the second index here is two s minus two and it has what uh multiplication or change to plus so I have plus what that is two s minus well two okay and in this place the last index here we have three s plus three okay and this place it is all as it as what a uh, negative here so it means that we have to start this one minus open bracket because this minus that this one is multiplied by both sides there okay so we have a three what three s plus what plus three so close bracket so let's open more bracket we have here and let's solve this one. Yep, s plus 2s that I given us well. So let me solve it here. So I have 5 is power s plus 2s that give us 3 or 3s. Okay, at 3s we have minus or 2. So let's open the bracket there. s minus uh, 3s that give us 3 or 3s. And also uh, minus times plus here that give us uh, minus or 3. So let's collect the like time now. Let's do the collection of time. That is a uh, 3 minus 3 here. We have three s and three s s. So if okay, let me collect like time to avoid mistake. Okay, so you have three with power of minus three. Okay, three with power of three s rather. So let's take this minus three to this place because they are the same thing. 
that is s 3s here we have our minus what 2 minus 3 so here we give us 3 minus uh, 3, 3s minus 3s we give 0 so this one we cancel so you know we made what minus 2 minus 3 that give us equal to that 5 is power of minus what 5 so the answer is equal to 5 is power of minus 5 guys that is the answer like this either you leave it like this you can also expect this one to be equal to if you don't want to leave like this maybe this one is not in the option but according to the question i have is here the option is uh, 5 is power of minus 5 maybe in the question you're given it may not be in this form because this one is still solution is mean like you know this way if you still remember 5 is power of minus 5 here is a negative inverse of negative of law of indices right why this minus can be expressed so you see that when you have a question like this that's a is power of minus n the same thing as our this minus a is 1 over y a is power of what of n so when you do it when you make this one and form like this so therefore we have what 1 over that is 5 is power of what of 5 so either your answer in the option either this or the answer in the option either this so the solution is this or this it depends on the option you have with you but the option i have with me the answer is this so guys so that is the solution to the question one of today so let's go guys let's solve the question two now so the question is that you evaluate coverage to for the small place we have our 8 827.51 uh, multiplied by 0 0.015 okay so now this one is the simple uh, mathematics right but uh, some of you may be finding difficult to find a decimal place okay so let's go and let's dive into it so the first thing here just apply your calculator to it okay uh let's see that's 827 827.51 multiplied by 0 0.015 no we use the calculator so when you do the multiplication we have it as an answer that is a 12.41 that is two six of five okay when you do the multiplication that is what you get that is 12.41265 and the question said that you leave is what in four decimal place. So know that when you're replacing your decimal, okay, when it, uh, we have a number like this down, we have two parts of number here. We have the old number, that is the number before this point, they are old number. O number here is 12, and here you have our decimal number. So it means that we are dealing with these parts. So let's count it. Here, the fourth digit here is the fourth decimal place. Here is the second, here is the third, here is the fourth, okay. So this is the fourth decimal place. So it means that well, you write it down for here to this place. Okay, that equal to we have a 12 dot points four one two six plus you consider the next number as a random of number. So after you stop at the fourth decimal place here, so this next number is is considered as a random of number. And here we have five. So random of number we have we have zero to four. Okay, it's equal to zero. Zero to four, the number that below five, if you have them as zero, but the number that's what that's greater than five, five upward, like five to nine, is rather than as one. So therefore now we have five here. So five is rather than as one. So it means that we add one to this. One plus six we give us seven. So the, our answer is called the two twelve point four one two seven. So that is answer to this question. That is answer to this question, guys. So that comes to the end of this class, guys. So uh, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, like, or turn your button in case you have benefit like this. Should be the first point and fine. So thank you, guys, and don't forget to share with your friend. Okay. Let's go to the next question and uh, solve under uh, two questions for this upcoming post-exam class. We are staying in post-exam class. Okay, guys. Thank you.